would help if I took the overlay off, wouldn't it? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of UHS Presents. I'm your host Sarah and with me as always is Lori. Yes, and I she... have failed at today's assignment. Sarah is a demon and I am <laughs> I am not. You, you tried. You tried and everything I that's what I heard. Everything went wrong and it's okay. So I, had, I yeah, I was cut short on time because I was I was shipping boxes. For, for you guys, so at least it was a good reason. <laughs> These but fucking then, things are not gonna stay. <laughs> I haven't tried to not do <laughs> that at all. Um, and then it's I got okay. Back. I tried to put fangs in. For some reason, my fang glue was not sticking. So now I just have a mouthful of glue and no fangs. Uh, it's not. It's not great. But we're having. Good. It's we're, gonna be okay. I mean, yeah. I. I mean, technically, I did. I did complete the assignment, but this is like a C job. This is like just passing. No, it's technically, a. it's technically passing. So, I, I'm, we're okay. So like, this is totally our thing now. Like, we're just we're gonna do this stuff. Like, do something weird for you know dress up kind of stuff. Like that's gonna be our thing now. But it's gonna be an evolutionary process. Like, I, I still like every day we're both all like, what are you gonna do for your makeup tonight? What are you doing for your costume stuff tonight? And we both are like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> it's very last minute. So yeah, so like, spontaneous. eventually we'll hit a stride where you will be able to, uh, you'll be able to know, like, we got a thing going here. But for now, like, it's evolving. We're getting there. We'll get there. We will. But yeah. eventually. But today, I technically completed the assignment. Lori attempted, and she gets points for that. It's, I mean, if you turn in, if you turn in partially completed work, you still get a grade and turning in some and getting a failing grade is still better than turning in nothing and getting a zero. So we're going to go with that. I mean, evil is, evil is in your heart, right? So I could be like a secret demon librarian. It's fine. We can make it yeah. work. And, like, and yeah, and like demons, they can possess people and they can make themselves look like whatever they want. So... She's just one I, of those. I can cheat today. Yeah. yeah, just just close your eyes and like tilt your head down and make it look like your your makeup. Just make it look like your eyes are black. It's right. fine. She's just one of those ones that possess somebody and she looks normal. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out eventually. So, uh, okay. And also, just so we're clear, like as far as I'm concerned, uh, every single day of the year should be like dress up in something weird and go out in public but yes i know like for the old fogies out there technically we're not supposed to do that right but as far as i'm you know as far as i'm concerned but um october is officially spoopy season and you have to let us have this we get one one month out of the year so just give it to us give it to us who don't care for christmas who don't even celebrate Easter and shit, like all those other holidays, all the religious ones, all the national, like American ones, all the, yeah. and I wouldn't celebrate a non-American one because I'm in America, so, but like, just let us have this, huh? Just let us have October. We're not hurting you. Just let us have it. <laughs> so, what do we got for news today? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Art of Staniac is almost done shipping. I think I have 20 boxes left. Um, because the book is such a brick, like, mm. the packing process for these books is extremely slow because we have to protect them and, like, there's styrofoam and, and bubble wrap and boxes involved. But I'm almost done. You guys should have it. Uh, we decided to wait on the book plates and commissions. We're going to send the book plates separately because, as you guys may know, uh, Stan is in Russia and Russia is fucking Russia crazy is right Russia. now. And we don't need him leaving the house to mail shit when people are getting drafted in the street. Like, we, we just, we decided to wait uh, <laughs> and keep Stan safe. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys are going to get your book plates later. Um, You'll get them. is almost done. Uh, we Ooh. should be done lettering it today, and it might go up for backers tomorrow digitally, and we're going to send it off to the printer. So that's really exciting. Um... Uh, uh, the the eighteenth is the Miss Medusa launch. We don't have a pre-launch link yet because we're a little behind, but we should have one in the next couple of days. I'm yes. very excited about that. Um, 
as I'd mentioned before, um, there were some complaints about the Sideshow Edition on Issue 1 not having enough nudity, so uh, you, you guys should be happy about Issue 2, because it's got all kinds of mm -hmm. fun times in it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Stan safe, see? Yes! Exactly. exactly. And, uh, and, yeah, Quentin, she just, um, Lori just mentioned that the surgeon is going to be done probably today. And my and the digital will go up for backers as soon as that happens. So yeah, probably tomorrow because like we're finishing lettering it. Then John's gonna double check it, make sure he's happy with it, and then we're gonna do any tweaks. And it's we're we're hoping it's gonna go out tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. So just watch your inbox. Yeah, and uh, we decided as well uh, because five was so late. We're going to get six done before we run the Kickstarter because we don't want you guys to wait again. So for six, like it's just gonna be ready to go. Good call. Uh, so we don't have that, we don't have that issue. Um, oh, it's gonna be nice though. Then, like a couple of weeks after the Kickstarter ends, you're gonna get your done. shit. It's amazing. Yeah. Like less than a month. And how often do you get that with any? Not just with our stuff, with anybody's stuff. You never get it just a month late, less than a month later. That's crazy. We'll be prepared. Yes. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, we're giving away some free shit today, but I, I should I wait to show what I have to give away? Like, should we bring? Chuck on first, or how do you want to do this? I don't care. Let's just let's just bring on Chuck so he doesn't have to languish in the green room any longer. <laughs> he's he's falling asleep back there. He's getting yeah. We don't want that to happen. He's because we don't leave any coffee in the digital green room. Green green room. I have words today. <laughs> it's it's gonna be okay. So hi, Chuck. I, I brought whiskey, and that's keeping me awake actually. So. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's <laughs> apple juice. Right? <laughs> yeah, sorry. See, see, yeah, Chuck. Chuck knows what's up. Chuck's drinking from a, a an opaque cup because that's that's what that's. I'm always like, you don't know, you don't know what I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. That looks like a cauldron too. That could be. It is, isn't that an amazing that cup? Does, that's I, cool. I love it. So last year I did a Halloween swap with some friends and I got the cauldron cup for what my swap partner and then I was like shit i can't send this to her i want to keep this so instead of instead of being a dick and keeping the present that i got for her i just purchased a second one for my for myself and the price on it fucking doubled so i was but whatever i got that, i got a cup and she's got a cup and it's all happy is that gonna be like your regular podcasting cup uh it has been lately um i guess it could be can i make but, a suggestion suggest so, away this this is my regular cup. Whenever I do a show, I'm always holding it, but I'm mm -hmm. always holding it like that. Ah. So you get to show off the shit while you're doing it, right? So I like um, that. Represent, Clever. baby. Represent. <laughs> Clever. Yeah, I, I might have to do that. Oh, nice. <laughs> just on Crypto Comics. That's awesome. That's nice. That's Chuck's cool. superpower. He's just everywhere at the same time. I mean, you gotta do the, the, the virtual tour, as I call it. Like, I think for Belial, because we're almost done, I think we've done about 20 shows for this tour. Wow. And That's you awesome. just Yeah, I mean, especially with the algorithms being as choking as they are. Ha! Ah, what's up, Watson? Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> especially with, like, the, the way they've been and whatnot, getting out there on as many shows as you possibly can. It's it's imperative in my mind. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we try That's to help it along by giving away free shit in hopes that that tempts people. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, works. yeah, whatever works. I think that's great. So okay, so you have? Are you? I don't. I I don't think I remembered to get a link. So I'm sorry, but we'll get a link. Just. Put it in the private chat so that I can put it up for everybody. But, okay. like, tell us about your comic. <laughs> That's Belial, the number one question, right? Just right, tell us right? about your shit. We want to hear about it. <laughs> Belial is an action comedy about the original creator of Hell trying to take his domain back from Lucifer and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So it's going to be a four-issue series. This is issue three. So we're almost there. Um, in issue one, he took on War. Uh, the way the way he likened it was he basically said, I'm going to treat this like prison. When you walk into prison, you see the biggest guy there, and you punch him in the face. 
In this case, it's war. So he, he dealt with war first. In the second one, he pulled a deuce and he took on both uh, famine and pestilence. And now in this one, he has to deal with um, with death, and he's also dealing with the betrayal of a loyal uh, ally. Hmm. This sounds what? like there's a lot of shit going on in this one. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, the, the books are 32 pages, so uh, we we got oh, a, a lot of room. Than usual. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, for us, because the comedy is in there, and because it's black and white, we wanted to still be able to hit that five dollar price point. But mm-hmm. for people to feel like they were getting their value, so sure. we and and the comedy, of course, ends up taking away from that story just a little bit, like the space that you have for it, especially when it comes to to pacing and, and whatnot. So, uh, being able to have those extra pages also means that we're able to get all the story in and still keep people laughing all the way through. Very cool. That's so, awesome. Thanks. I flipped through um, because uh, Chuck sent us copy a, a digital copy to check out before we opened, did the show, and I flipped through and I noticed uh, I noticed the black and white like that was you know that is pretty uncommon to see in a comic anymore. So um, why did you decide to go with black and white versus uh, getting it colored? So for us, it was really important. First off, like well, let's be honest, price point is huge. Not having to pay a colorist was a big deal, mm, but. Yeah. Um, there was a couple different things that went into it besides just price. Um, the thing is, it's in hell. And for us, almost all hell books look the same. It's the same colors. It's a lot of blacks and reds. Yeah. Um, so you already know what it's going to look like. Why do we have to color it for you? Your head is going to fill that stuff in. Um, hell books also tend to read and feel the same way, which is why we added the, the comedy element to give it a much more different feel. So you're like, oh shit, this is not, um, this is not like the other hell books that I've read. This is doing its own thing. Um, yeah. Also our thought is, is that we want to level this thing up and take it to a publisher. So our thought was bring it to you guys on Kickstarter as a black and white. And then if, and when a publisher does pick it up, we can color it for them and give them something new and different to distribute so that they can still sell it not only to their fans, but to ours. And it's technically a new product. Yeah, it's an upgrade. Sure, That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, right. well, yeah I agree. <laughs> God, imagine. Imagine if everything around you was turquoise all the time. I would go nuts. I, I, that would drive me crazy. I feel like hell for me would be um, like okay. You remember uh, Thor Ragnarok when they showed us uh, like um, Hulk had his own special room and it was very fancy and it was fucking red and white with like big stripes and splashes of stuff and that was it. I feel like that's what hell will be like for me. It's not that I hate red or white. It's that um, that's a terrible combination. It looks. I mean, Thor said pick a color and I was like. Maybe pick zero of those colors. Maybe pick a different color altogether for decorating. <laughs> for for me, I would be blind because what this thing would imagine is around me is probably worse than anything yeah. they could create. So uh, yeah, I would just not be able to see, and I would be scared shitless constantly because this thing would be worrying. That's sure. fair. I like that. I like that imagination. Thanks. That's. Hey, Javon. Oh, so yeah, Javon hey, popped in and Brad popped in and, and oh, Mark man. Mark said somewhere up there, um, yes, I do have horns. He says, Sarah, you have horns. And it's just <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just um j- just looking looking the part. We're repping hell today. I, I have mm-hmm. I'm secretly a demon. It didn't work out for me, but yeah. we're all working so hard to not make horny jokes. Like we're all <laughs> just trying so hard not to not to make a horny joke. I mean, okay, don't get us kicked off of YouTube, but like, if you can make a horny joke. That's I'm 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 fine. <laughs> I'm I'm pretending to be a gentleman. You guys are dressed as demons. I'm dressed as a gentleman. And actually, speaking of, so just so you guys out there know, they did not tell me that we were dressing up, but I did technically dress up because for me, and I'm sure for you guys too, it's really important to celebrate the victories of our indie brothers and sisters. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but our good friend here, Lori, recently got to ink a piece 
for Matt Frank, which was a Transformers piece. So I wore a Transformers shirt in for love nice. for that piece because it was such a cool fucking piece. And I just thought, man, that is so cool that you got the opportunity to be able to do that. And I think it's um, all too often the first thing that happens is the green-eyed monster pops up and we go, oh, fuck, mm. I wish I could have done that. I'm not an anchor. I couldn't have fucking done that. So good for you. I think that's amazing. And I think it's really important that we get that chance to celebrate people and, and what they're doing because it's so cool to see everybody taking steps up. Thank you. Yeah, I was. I'm still super excited. Matt is. Matt laughed at me because I'm so excited about it, and I'm like, I want copies of the game because I want to see all of our art on the cards. And he's like, Okay, calm down. Like, I I don't know why I don't know why Lori isn't inking for any big two titles yet. Like, why? Because you're and and I know for a fact that you would love to be able to do more inking. Like, you're always so busy doing everything else, and you have to squeeze in the inking and get it done, too. And, like, I bet you would just love to just sit down and just do inking and art stuff for a week or something. Like, that would be, like, a reset for your brain to not have to do business yeah. shit. Well, yeah. and, I mean, I'm I'm trying to help with that, but, but like, I I mean, I, I hate to blame ADHD, but, like, ADHD... I mean, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to help. I'm helping badly, but I am helping. There's a lot to do. It's crazy. It is. It is. It is so much more. Like I never appreciate enough. Like I appreciate the shit out of Lori, but I never appreciate enough until I actually jump in there and start helping her with stuff. The, like each new, t each new thing that she teaches me, I'm like, Jesus Christ, you're doing all this shit by yourself. That's that's like that's always what I think. Even if I don't say it out loud, I'm like, why are you you're doing all this crap by yourself? Ugh. Yeah, it, the, uh -oh. the I'm, lose, I'm losing creator, my horns. Right? I'm yeah, losing my horns. Slipping. I like it. She's, she's becoming less horny, guys. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's fix this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, for anyone getting here just now, um, today we are giving away free shit. So if you comment, I'm gonna put your name into the sexy wheel of names uh, to win some at least on our end we're going to give away some prints I don't know what Chuck was giving away I, there was talk of digital stuff um, I would I love to give away issues one and two digitally to whomever sure yeah that would be awesome. yeah let's do it um, we have well we've got a few more minutes we don't have to go right yet but um, yeah we have uh, we have the no, we're not doing a QR code. Never mind. Um, but wow, well, well, the wheel. I, I was like, we usually when we do uh, do the giveaway stuff, we all have a digital piece for everybody. But this time we don't have for everybody. This time you have to enter the the the, the wheel, the the drawing. I don't. Yeah. Um. And let me show you. I have these prints. I I, I Paul Han Hanley sent me a whole bunch of stuff a while back, and I haven't had ch a chance to go through all of it. But we have this which I thought was apropos for this month. And it's a sign print. Ooh. And Loki, 11 by 17. What the fuck? Don't give that away. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> How <Bye> dare you? <laughs> <laughs> and we have a uh, tank girl. Ah. Oh, a little shiny there. Nice. Also signed by Paul. Yeah, one of these days we're going to get our shit together enough that we'll actually like take a photograph of the piece and like without the shine so that you guys can look at it <laughs> without it's amazing just take our word for it <laughs> well i we i saw enough of it to know that it's amazing and uh i i'm, I'm maybe i saw it before too i'm sure i see a lot of stuff and i forget because i'm forgetful i'm but. on my phone so i would actually have to like leave this window and uh, to to grab the the uh, yeah so instead i actually put it in the chat on YouTube, if that does that help? It will once I once it shows up for me. It will. <laughs> it's got like yeah, the YouTube's got to tell me that there's a comment, and it will eventually. But oh, okay. Uh, this this um yeah, this transition to the we we are part of the Agents of Geekdom Network. You know, like we like I think that officially launched last week, right? And uh, and it's. It's been um, so like I we're re we're recognizing and we're fixing the the little bumps in the road as they come. So um, this is one of the things is like we are still on 
uh, technically kind of using a different platform for another couple of months. So, but in like, I bet by by the time we hit our first anniversary as agents of geekdom, we're definitely gonna like this shit is gonna be slicker and snot on a doorknob. It's gonna be so nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> just, I thought. I, I thought he walked That's... away, and he did not walk away. <laughs> no, no, I did not walk away. No, no, no. No, I'm still here, and I also put the put it in the chat. That's why I I walked away with the camera. You got it. What's up, Jay? I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in here. So, yeah, and let's um, we're supposed to do a quick commercial, so we might do that shortly, uh, and yes. you guys can check out the campaign. And then when we come back from the commercial, um, we'll open up the campaign and go through it and look at all the cool shit Love and that. talk about it. I I actually I set myself an alarm on my phone so that I wouldn't forget this time because we are we have to. We are a part of this shit, and we need to do the thing, so I'm not going to forget again. It's a work in progress. It's fine. This is, yeah, like, Lori, Lori remembered this time much better than I did either time, but, yeah, I did. When she when she reminded me about the, the uh, commercial, I was like, oh, yeah, I've got a minute before the stuff comes on, and, and, uh, yeah, it is me. What did I do? Oh, the shit. Okay. I got a brand new microphone and we set it up, but we didn't fix everything. And so, yeah, the weird horn, the horny sounds you're getting, it's not, it's not me specifically, but it is the train that's right fucking oh, outside the building. Was. Yeah, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I can hear Jeff cackling in the background. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Jeffrey, Jeffrey's here doing his uh, standard behind-the-scenes uh, tech support, but uh, but yeah, I forgot. Nice horns, yeah. That, I mean, that could be another form of hell, right? Like train horns all the time, and like a guy oh. cackling in the background. I feel like that works. Oh, yeah. Now, especially Ooh. just as you're about to rest, your eyes close. You're just about to sleep, and the horn goes every time. Exactly. Uh, every every time, time you're about to yeah. fall asleep, the train fucking goes. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I have to say, for me. Having lived here for a while, that would not be a help for me thing because I did. I, I'm used to it now, actually. So where's here? And it's I. I live in Wisconsin. Well, I live in Iowa now, but okay. Um, I live. At, we are we are right on the river, so there's like fucking there's trains and there's t um the what are the big boats barges the barges and so you hear these ooh just when I'm like what the fuck is that and it does it sounds really eerie especially at night. But it's cool. But also, shut up. I'm trying to watch a movie, right? So, but um, but yeah, the trains are by far the most irritating because they shake the buildings because they're so close. Oh man. yeah. So yeah, they like all the buildings here. You know, even if you can't hear the train, you can tell their trains going through because the buildings are like. So, it's a thing. And one time we actually even had an earthquake here, that uh the building was shaking and I we were kind of still sleeping and so I woke up to the shaking and I was like the fuck there's no train and then I was like is the cat under the bed dicking with the bottom of the bed and making the bed shake and then I realized she was sleeping on top of the bed there so it wasn't her and I was like what the fuck is this and then and then yeah like a half an hour later we got a ping on our news app that said there was a, there was an earthquake here oh that that was what that was what it was surprise yeah so we'll give we'll give the cats time to um realize that the horns are there though because i i have a feeling they i mean i'm probably gonna set them down somewhere and then the cat because they're made of foam and the cats are gonna realize that and then they're gonna you know do that thing where they grab it and then kick the shit out of it with their back legs and they're gonna shred them so don't expect to see these again is what i'm saying they'll probably be broken and destroyed but anywho's um so, s before I start rambling on and we don't talk about Chuck's work and our free shit and stuff anymore, let's have a let's have a quick commercial break and then we'll give some stuff away. Perfect timing. <laughs> I think it's time for me to save the day. Grace. Y'all know what it is. A hot shot. Let me heat it up. My 
I like his song. Isn't Those it are, catchy? Yeah. As as uh, as as ads go, our ads are really not obtrusive. I'm I'm digging it. Cause I wasn't. It was really short. Yeah, only yeah. We we are pretty strictly no more than thirty seconds on our commercials, and, and you only have to watch one. And it's all commercials for our stuff, so it's not like it's not like a NordVPN shit or anything. So it's I all... would love if you guys had just like a really inappropriate, like like something for like insurance or some bullshit. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck is this about? And you're like, look, man, we need fucking money for podcasting. We needed here, money. Right? <laughs> Don't for, give me any pills? ideas. For boner pills, that's a that's a popular sponsor. Boner pills, mattresses. Boner pills will be ho- actually. That feels like you know in the comic world. That actually feels like it could totally work. <laughs> that could totally. And because so many of and let's be honest, so many of the comic creators I've seen around are middle aged dudes. So yeah, like that kind of fucking works. <laughs> it it kind of works, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't give me ideas because now I have ideas. You've done it. <laughs> You've How done much it. money could I make off of these? <laughs> now I'm gonna now I'm just gonna make yeah. Well, I have a I have an ad. Oh, uh, Tony that, Clapper, nice. Tony's here. Shit, nice. you got you're I, aren't you well, I, aren't you usually having like supper with your with your family? I thought that he he would never get to come Fuck because he's always you're watching the podcast now. Let's right? go. <laughs> Yeah, they anyway. eat every day. Fuck. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> it's so needy. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, should probably show Chuck's campaign. I feel bad because we've kind of yeah. And I, you know, I, I got it all like up and stuff, and then I didn't actually do anything about it. So, uh, so let honestly, me share. Guys, I love the the chilling out, hanging, just having like I feel like if the whole show is just sell, sell, sell. Nobody wants to fucking watch that. You know what I mean? Right. So I like that we're shooting the shit and having a good time. So definitely don't feel bad for me. I'm having a blast and you ladies are entertaining as fuck. So we're good. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, I think that our, our shows are at least at least 45% completely off the fucking rails. Is, aren't they? Like, we don't ever have a show where we stay on topic the whole time. That does not happen. Yeah, and I think, like, just... We we end up talking about something inappropriately sexual every time, like no matter what the topic <laughs> is. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So it's never intentional. It just it just comes up. That's a solid ratio, by the way. But I believe that you said forty five because you didn't want to go over fifty, even though you think that there's a good possibility it's at least fifty one percent bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> it's usually more like seventy five or eighty percent bullshit. But I do remember one specific time where we did stay on topic almost the entire. Oh my like, gosh! And then, but then here's the thing: we went out. We 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 have an hour show, but what we did was we went. We we were like, all right, if you can, the for, to our guest, it was Ian. Remember, we stayed on topic for like the whole time almost, and then. But then we were like, hey, if you want to keep talking, let's keep talking, and we kept talking and streaming, and we went on for another hour, and we went completely bat shit it was, it was yeah was that the one where so ian richardson is the guy who, he's one of the artists who draws dread he's like famous and is that the one where we went on and we talked about him getting naked and like painting him like um oh no i'm pretty sure that was unthinkable watchman was, is yeah that that, that, that was the unthinkables that was one of our earlier ones it it <laughs> <laughs> it was a thing it was a thing I feel so bad. Ian, I think Ian loves coming on, but like we objectify him every time. It just happens. well, that's what he gets for being British. And he keeps coming back, so like, does it really sound like he's that bothered by it? Yeah. So does that mean he's a he's a masochist or a sadist? Because like he, we do that to him, but he lets us. So that's true. He's just a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and to be fair, he's so busy, and like we're we're busy, and but he's like really busy all the time. He's like busy, like Lori's busy all the time, and Lori had to we I had to like we we had to make this show a weekly thing just so that Lori would come and sit with us because she otherwise she's too busy. But anyway, yeah, like, he we never get to talk to, to Ian. Like we we're all we all get along so well, but we never get to talk. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're not sick of us yet, J-Man. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, we should show. We should show Chuck. Yes, let's do that. Let's do the thing. thing. <laughs> we need you to give him money. Give him some money. I'm not I mean, against that. Yeah. Zoom this in here. We so want you him did to come back. Goal. We want yep. him to come back on the show. So we can <laughs> give him some money so he comes back. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you did make goal, but yep. you guys all still have a couple of days, it looks like. It looks like you have two days exactly yeah. to get in here and, and get this stuff, because I'm sure, I'm sure that there's, uh, lots of goodies to be had here, so. Good chunk. Everybody's gonna get the thing that they pledged for, so that's good, but more people should pledge, because. Yeah, it's, it's comics, dude. like, it's comics, right? Right. Do you, do you right. have stretch goals that. right now? Not to put you on the spot. Um, we do. I don't think we, we haven't announced it yet because there was okay. so much like up and down that we were just like, look, let's just make sure we're over the fucking goal and yeah. we're in the way there. <laughs> but That's yeah, yeah. Um, it's bad uh, luck to do it the second hit goal, right? <laughs> yeah. So um, we do have a stretch goal for six k. Um, trying to remember, we we have uh, we have a print that we're doing for for that, and we'll uh, we'll be putting that up very soon. But yeah. But awesome. but Let's get you heard it here first. Yeah. So he can breathe. Yeah. So he can breathe and relax. Let's get him to right. Six. Yeah, six. Come on. I mean, and this I like the art. Like the art is really. Um, I mean, a lot of times you you see black and white art, and it's like, eh. And this, but this is clean, and and it tells the story well enough. So. Thank you. I I mean, and like you said, like there's there's always the potential for more later, and. I don't like after you get to be a fan of a black and white comic like do you even want it to be colored like do you want to do the purist route like i'm curious about that because i personally am always about color but then when i see a comic that's good in black and white i'm like i don't want you to color it don't don't fuck it up as long as you don't make the whole book turquoise because <laughs> mm. <laughs> turquoise edition well i know right and and so we got the gray wash going on there. So even when we color it, we're like, do we want to keep the wash in there? Or do we yeah. like, and, and mm. use that as a color um, enhancer sort of thing, like wash with the color, or do we just want to get rid of that? Cause we do have the, the solid inks and then the inks with the washes. So that's something we're going to fuck around with and see, see what works. So we're probably our um, colorist is going to most likely be Chris Hall. And um, because he's been a member since he, he did uh, colors on um, on our first uh, variant cover, and he's just been there all along, and, and we love his work and whatnot. He's done so many of our variant colors and whatnot. So we uh, just love to have him color it, and and so far that's looking like that's what's going to happen if we go that route. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going to test it out and see. See what what gives us the best feels, and then what what feels the coolest. That's awesome. It gives me um, for people who haven't read it, it gives me kind of um, uh, like Tenacious D, Pick of Destiny kind of vibes. <laughs> oh yeah, it's yeah. Like, it, it's in hell. There's like parts in hell, and there's demons, and it's wildly inappropriate, and there's swearing, and and like it's it's the and I love we, that movie. So <laughs> yeah, no, me too, dude. Absolutely. Well, and that's the thing is that there's an awful lot of heavy metal. Uh, Easter eggs in here because uh, we are. I, I am a huge metalhead, and um, uh, Sean certainly loves it too. My partner Sean Barbour, and so like I mean, Belial's shirt says, "If you're five five five, then I'm six 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 and yes. that's a <laughs> that's a great little Slipknot wrote uh, uh, Slipknot quote and whatnot. So we, you know, we have all sorts of that kind of stuff going on. We have metal homage covers that we've done, and yeah, so we we dig that stuff and have so much fun with it. I love the expression work in this, like, what, what you got on here. There's a lot of these facial expressions. This just, like, I am so irritated with life. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, just, I love this yeah. one here. The, yeah, this I particular this one. Face. I stopped on it because I was like, oh, that one's funny. Just, I like it. <sighs> <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? We More and more, we really feel like it's got kind of like a um, adult swim sort of vibe to it. Yeah, yes. So we've been very much leaning into that. And the artist... Um, Craig Warrencheck, I love his work, and he's so, excuse me, expressive and quick. And so the more expressive that he makes them, the more I write to that. 
Oh, sure. And so yeah, we're just yeah. we're just having fun playing off each other and 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 seeing how nuts it gets. Fantastic. So okay, I'm gonna continue to scroll here a little bit. Yeah. And we can have you know, I like to drop like the first in. five pages just so people can really kind of get the idea oh, of what the story would look like. You literally put in the first five pages. I did not yeah. realize. Look yep. at that. Yeah, go and read the, that that's an if you don't know if you like it by the first five pages, then you should probably just buy it anyway, right? <laughs> and just find out. But I like that that's feel. Nice. Yeah, that's a great pitch. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even yeah, I didn't even realize that you actually had the literal first five pages on here. I probably should have, but I didn't. No, you're good. <laughs> um Is that is that is that a little booby sensor over there, that little kick? It is a little booby sensor. Nice. So, here's the funny thing is that and we we did and we put Kickstarter the little Kickstarter logo on there for the booby sensors. Um here's the thing. When we wrote the first when we wrote and produced the first one, um I'm I'm not like a prude, but I specifically didn't write any nudity in it. And but you know, there's lots of fucks and shits and swearing and, and naughtiness and all that kind of stuff. And then we got the art back, and I was like, "Hey, Sean, is that a tit?" And he's like, "Yeah, man, that's that's <laughs> definitely a nipple." And I was like, "Huh? I didn't write any nudity." And he's like, "No. What do you want to do?" And we were both just like, "I mean, it's in hell. It's already adult. What the fuck are you gonna do?" I guess if he wants to write and draw a nipple, he won that round. So we did that. And then in the second one, he's like, "Oh, they didn't say shit about nipples." Great. <laughs> he has this one character, this one like background succubus that shows up all the time just so that he can continue to draw tits. And I'm like, all right, dude, like you do you. I'm, I'm glad. And she has shown up in every single fucking book, never written her in there, never shown her up. He just keeps making sure that she's in scene so that he can draw a boob. And I'm like, good dude, you're tenacious. I appreciate it. Good for you. And so it even like, we had Steph Wilson doing a cover. And if you guys know Steph Wilson, he loves the boobies. Yeah. And so he came to me and he's like, all right, look, I know you're a prude. And I'm like, I'm, look, I like sex. I just don't like to talk about it. And he's like, doesn't matter. I know you're a prude. So I did do you a cover, but I did a naughty and a nice. And that's what's happening. You don't have a choice. And I was like, I guess we have our first nude cover too. So... <laughs> We have a, a, a nudie cover on this one as well, just because, hell, why not? Awesome. Yeah. I think as long as you're not trying to shoehorn boobies in there just for the sake of boobies, then there's no bad way to do it. Like, I just, I hate it when people, like, shoehorn it in there just because, uh, you know, just because sex sells or some shit like yeah. that. Don't force well, it in there, but otherwise, it is hell. You, and that's the thing. That's why I didn't write it, because I didn't want it to feel shoehorned in, and then I was like, well, it's not because he he put it in there and it made sense to the scene and all that. So, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. No, and it makes it total works. sense. Yeah, it yeah. makes total sense that that hell doesn't have a dress code. <laughs> Why would that be? Why would that be a thing? Why wouldn't people be naked occasionally? It doesn't. Yeah. Do Absolutely. It. All right, so let's quit, flip through these rewards here quickly. So, five bucks gets you the PDF. So five bucks is all it takes. If you are, if you have read those five pages and you're still not sure, it's only going to cost you five bucks to find out for sure if you like it. And then let's see. Okay, so ten bucks gets you all of them that you've got done so far. Nice. That's not. That's a really good deal too. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to to make it easy enough that if you know if somebody wanted to get all of them, uh, if that it felt like a deal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you're, if you're, just like, like how Fish and how I said it and Lori is too, like, we just got boxes and boxes of comics that we're, like, they're sitting around and after a while you collect them for years and then where do you keep them after you read them? But digital doesn't take up space, so. Yeah. So digital is an excellent option for people like Fish who don't have space anymore. All right, so let's see. Twelve bucks gets you PDF and the and the physical. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. Fifteen 
beer. Nice Steph Wilson carry and variant. So if you slide down the main, we should be able to show off some of those covers I'm talking about. All right. Yeah, okay. So there's there's all the covers, but we actually have like a, a little cover gallery where you can see them up close because okay, they're cool. all beautiful. So these are the stickers. Um, we did oh, stickers. There we go. Yeah, those are so, so every every campaign we make new stickers of our characters, little chibi stickers. And I'll they're tell so you, cute. people love them. Like when I have them on my table at conventions, I'll, I'll have people show up and be like, "Oh my gosh, these are so cute! Um, I want them. How much are they?" And I'll be like, "Ah, it's, uh, two dollars a sticker or three for five. And they're like, "Great, cool. I'll take three. And I'm like, "All right, terrific. Yeah." Um, but for five bucks, you can also buy the book. And they're like, now nah, I'm good. Like, all right, <laughs> fine. I make way more fucking money off right. the stickers. So I'd rather someone who, who was going to read it would buy it. But, um, okay. <laughs> but, but in the defense yeah. of the people who do that, these are really fucking cute stickers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, 100%. Yeah. They're so fucking cute. I love that. I, I mean, uh. I can't. I can't even figure out. Derpery, derpery, derpery. Derp ah, yeah. God. Derp Thank you. Yeah, I was like, so, sir, I can't remember how to say the actual uh, beast's name. Uh, so it's, but he's it's adorable. a Cerberus. Yeah, it's a Cerberus with the heads of a Yorkie, a Chihuahua, and a pug. <laughs> yeah, and like obviously, I want. I want one. Right. <laughs> I mean, I want one of all of them, but like obviously, I want one of of, of Derperus. Derperus. So we should probably do we're doing... an Hamilton campaign at some point. Oh my gosh! So we did a metal cover, and this is one of our covers. You'll be able to see it, but we couldn't find anything to be able to show what the metal yeah. cover would look like. So we were just like, like this, but shiny. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's fine. That's, I mean, that's yeah. what it is. I um uh, for our for ours, I had made a little overlay that kind of looks like maybe it's a little shiny, but it really doesn't do like it doesn't look yeah. anything like that. That's yeah. the best I could pull off, and it's like I, I don't think that it's possible, and it's certainly out of my. I mean, I'm pretty good at graphic design, but it is out of my wheelhouse to be able to ha make this thing look in a photograph on a two D platform look like it does when you get the shiny metal covers they are yeah. too fucking cool those yeah so I, cool. I told my i told my mom about the because my mom loves these books and my stepdad is actually in the book he passed away about a year ago and so we put him in the book as a nod um him and uh, sean's grandfather they passed away between issues two and three so we put them in there my mom was like i gotta get it she already owned the other ones anyways she's like oh a metal cover that's like foil right and i was like Nah, that's like foil on fucking steroids. It's literal metal. She was like, yeah. really? I'm like, it's actually heavy. Like, it's real. And I said, that's something you're going to want to, like, frame and put up or whatever. Mm, she said, like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, I got to get that. So, yeah, if you've never seen a metal cover, I mean, it's just on a whole other level, guys. It is it is not foil. It's way cooler. Even when you take a photograph of the actual metal cover. It's nothing. It, you, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look, you're never going to appreciate how fucking cool it is unless you actually get them for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, you just, nice. there's no way to appreciate it from a photograph. It's not possible. Thousand they percent. are so cool. Yeah. So, all right. So, yeah, there's our main cover. So and this was done by our, um, by our interior artist, uh, Greg Morinchak. We always have him do the, the A cover. And so this is his, um, the, here's the funny thing. He, he did this. It's an homage to Neil Adams' Superman versus Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. But what people don't understand is he did this. <laughs> don't like Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm, and I'm a huge Megadeth fan. So um, when yeah. when Sean brought up the idea, I was like, yes, let's do that. I, I already have an idea in my head. So, um, yeah, when he did this, Neil Adams was still alive. He just did this because he loved that cover. And so he passed away. And that's the crazy thing is we did this. And then shortly afterwards, Neil Adams passed away. With very that's sad, amazing. amazing talent. And we did, in the last one, we did a Bat Out of Hell cover for Meatloaf. And Meatloaf passed away shortly after that. So now what we're telling First. people is 
look, we don't want anyone else cool to pass away. So tell us the motherfuckers you want to die. We'll do an homage of them. And that person won't make it six fucking months. So. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I can think of a pe- few people you should right, try to cover. Right, right. I've, I, I've heard some, some people mention some names, and I was like, all right, we'll, we'll make a list. <laughs> <laughs> make a patron so, list. Yeah, no more Megadeth covers. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, exactly, exactly. Now that we found out this is a thing, we're like, oh, now we can't homage anything we actually like for fear that somebody oh, wow. we love passes away. <laughs> so what, like Ted oh, Nugent? Wow. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> Did you say Ted, Ted Nugent? Nugent? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Oh Christ! Okay, okay. Next one. Um. Oh, we yeah, got so covers. Here's there's... the team, and so this is the one that you were showing off. This is the the nice version of the Steph Wilson and Carrie Ann cover. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, what's really cool is there's a really hilarious metal band called Psycho Stick. Yeah. And oh, dude, they're so fucking funny, and they have two songs. One is called Beer Is Good. And the other is called boobs. So, and it's spelled B E W B S. So, this is beer is good. And they came in, they checked it out, they added, they made some edits and said things that they wanted in there, and we made it, and they've they've enjoyed it, they've uh, liked it, and talked about it, and all that kind of stuff. So that's been really cool. And that's then awesome. that's underneath that is the naughty one with Link's face covering up all the little naughty bits. Nice. And um, that one is the use. Nice. Yeah. Now I'm going to have Beer is Good stuck in my head for right? the next right. week. Son of a bitch. And like the only fucking part I remember is Beer is Good and stuff. Like that's the only <laughs> fucking part of the song I, re- I actually know the words to. Son of a bitch! <laughs> this is all your fault! I try. <laughs> Connie Jolitz came in and she did this amazing she actually just did this as something nice for us she was like i want to do this and we were like shit that's a cover like we loved it and it's Mm -hmm. a um uh it's kind of we call it the glam rock cover but really it's a glam punk rock cover because belial's wearing a shirt that says bottles to the ground which of course is a no effects lyric and i think song two and i loved I loved the colors and such. Like, if you look at all of our other covers, they're blacks and reds and, and you know, very dark. Very saturated. And, yeah, and this is very much, it's like, it's a little more effeminate, but still, like, really badass. And I was just like, man, it's so different from everything else we've done. I really like it. I just think that, I just felt like immediately, I was like, wow, this is a cover where somebody would walk up and be like, that's different from everything else and that would draw me in and i just i loved it and i thought i think she's so talented and there's so much going on on there without it feeling overly crowded yeah uh, which i thought was cool too so we had to we had to make it a thing and it is yeah it looks it looks great thank you oh my god okay can we stop for a minute and appreciate yeah. chris's majestic fucking beard here look at this thing <laughs> chris Jesus. Matt is my dude he is my motherfucker. I love that guy so much. Um, I'm anytime I know that we're going to be on a show together, I know we're going to have a good time. And um, so, and he did a cover for the last for issue two, and so we knew we were going to have him back for issue three because we just love his work. And I was like, uh, um, I said, dude, this time we're doing the Megadeth cover. We we got to we got to get Chris to do it because that's just he he just has a style that that works towards it so well, and he's a big metalhead and. He loves Megadeth too, so it's like yes. Yeah. So this is our homage to Rust in Peace, and it's the the Megadeth homage cover. Yes. Oh my god. Still though, that that fucking that beard. Oh, gorgeous. That yeah. that beard is amazing. Like that makes me want to try and grow a beard. <laughs> right. I would never get very far because I only have like, you know, I have like those two little pesky hairs somewhere in here that, that won't right. fucking leave me alone, and that's it, so I would never be able to do Just it, but... grow them out, braid them, do what you can, man. Yep, yep. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's carry on here, look at some more covers here. Oh my this god, is, I love this one. This one's right. cute. So this is Josh Lyman. Love his work, too. And he does a... Um, this is his homage 
to Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. So, of course, they go down and they have games with um, with death and whatnot. So it's the boys playing games with death. And in the back, you can see the bodies of Bill and Ted. That's in the, in the chairs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was looking. Too, I was looking too hard. It was right there. And I was I was trying way too hard. There they are. Oh, <laughs> okay, shit. Sarah. <laughs> I'm having I'm having a time, man. This is fun. We're having fun. We're having a good time. Ooh, I like me some gifts. Look at that. Yeah, and that's just kind of showing the the creation and how it goes from layouts to uh, to pencils to inks to gray wash to letters. Very cool. And that's oh, pretty and that's, much it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well. If like we're out of time, we're, out of, we're running out of time, so we can't go through all the rewards. But suffice that, it to that say, most of them, yeah, yeah. Like what? It, what was it? Ten bucks. Ten bucks gets you the digitals of all three issues. So mm -hmm. go for it. If you haven't, if you're not, on, haven't been following this particular series, you, ten bucks gets you all of them. For, just do it. What? It's what is? It's ten dollars. Come on. <laughs> you can't even fill up your car for ten dollars. Right. It's bullshit. Exactly. Well, Jesus, and if you I can't win, even... I got if you win tonight's, um, if you win tonight's uh, raffle, you'll get issues one and two digitally. Hell, I can send them to you tonight, or we can send them to you tonight. And then if you dig it, pick up issue three. It's all yours, man. Awesome, nice. All right. Well, speaking of, let's um, take this off because it's distracting, and let Lori put up the you wheel so that we can wheel. draw some shit or draw some yeah. names for some free shit. Do you like that little segue there? <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. yeah, maybe we should just maybe we should just make make Chuck a co-host. Like, oh, right? like let him do all the hard stuff. <laughs> Is that working? I see it, but we got to put it on screen. Woo! Ooh. All right, make sure your name's up here. If y'all are still, everybody was still here, because I know uh, people, they come and they go. <laughs> and we yeah. appreciate so we it, but like, just make sure that you're there. Yeah. Now's the time. Yeah, make sure your name is on there, on the wheel. Man, they updated this wheel, and they still fucking put two blocks of the same color next to one another. Fired. It's so yeah. easy not to do. Like, I don't know that much code, but I know enough code to know that that is completely avoidable. It's <laughs> Come on! It's horseshit. It's triggering some OCD. It's like... Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. So. Well, I don't see I don't anybody see saying comments. that their name isn't up, so... Oh, I'll draw for the... The Maleficent. And Loki... First, uh, my wait. You need to put my name on the wheel for that one. <laughs> Is that allowed? Can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'll just like go irritate Paul until he gives me a copy too. <laughs> or make friends right. with the winner. Right, I could do that as well. I was like, the, uh, making friends is hard though. Like that's a lot of work. Uh, just hoping word. I'm already friends with somebody. The, with that person. Nice. Woo! Congratulations. Applause and some confetti. Um, so we need to find you, JD, because you're on Twitch. Um, yes. Um, I think. Can you private message on Twitch? If you you can send us a message. Um, well, and it'll get to the it'll get to the right people. So don't worry about that. But like, you can also find us on Facebook. Uh, we're at you eight no. Unlikely Hero Studios. I'm, UH Studios. I'm, I'm broken. My face is broken. Yes, you yeah, at UH, UH Studios. Studios. And that's um, and that's an easy way to do it too. Or or you can send us an email, hero at uhstudios.com. Yeah. So you know, just so that we can get that to you. Okay. And then we have Tank Girl. Tank Girl, yeah. yeah. That's cool. And so, but it, should we give both of them the digital copies? Is that what we were thinking, Chuck? Or should we, do you want to do a third winner? Or how do we? Um, 
You know what? Hey, Quentin. I'm I'm feeling really because whoever gets it should get issues one and two, but I'm feeling really generous. I'm willing to do it for two people. Okay. Awesome. Now I'm good with that. But they'll they'll both get issues one and two. Awesome. Nice. Quentin will be really excited. Quentin reviews comic books, so he'll be very excited to have more comic books to read and review. Oh yeah. Is that the, the right. Tank Girl comic, or is that a print? It's a print. It's a, okay. it's a very cool print. Yeah. Look, if it focuses. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. It's Sweet. a print that uh, one of our artists slash writers did, Paul Hanley, and it's a signed, signed print. Oh, that's so nice. Very cool. <laughs> Yay, congrats, guys. All right, I'm going to yeah. close that. I'm not in focus again. There we go. Wow. <laughs> you have a very sensitive camera. I I feel like I, I must have something turned off because I know this one does it, but I don't I don't ever see it doing that for me, so I must have turned something off and it's probably gonna bite me in the ass in the end, but maybe the auto focus? I really love the dichotomy of you having something turned off and being horny all at once. I think that's really that's right. good. That's there like go. I'm just that good. What can I say? Uh, dude, I appreciate it. <laughs> And, and also, I'm sure that's frustrating, too. <laughs> <laughs> so people are turned off and horny. It's like, what the fuck do I do? It's a, it's another form of hell. Look at all these forms of hey, hell. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I just got totally derailed because I just looked over there and I can see my very fat cat and she's sitting on the windowsill and, like, her fat is hanging off the edge. So... It's like straight, and then there's this like big lump of fat. I, I, I was hoping that the windowsill was kind of sagging a little bit. Right. <laughs> I mean, like, that's what it looks like. <laughs> she's just, and and she's and she, she occasionally looks over at at us, and she's like like she's got like a dirty look on her face. She's like, why can't you open this window up the rest of the way so that I can sit in the window jam? What I'm I'm called? imagining like a furry job of the hut just sitting in a windowsill. I mean, I'll I'll try and remember to snap a picture as long as if she stays there. Be, but when we go off the air, uh, I'll try and snap a picture and we could post it on our you Facebook should. page or something. Just for mm -hmm. why not? Then y'all know what I'm talking about at least. Right. So, uh, so yeah, that was fun. And everybody, go back. Uh, ah, shit! I said Belial. You said Belial, right? Belial. You can do either or, We're, however well, you want to say it. I guess it doesn't matter if I read the comic, right? I can right? read it in whatever way I want to. Either way, we're all going to hell. It doesn't matter <laughs> how you say it. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, everybody go back that. I'm going to post the um, the link here again. One more time. There we go. So, go back that. And it's going to be good. And congratulations to Quentin and JD. Yeah. And, um... I don't know what we're doing next week on the show here, but um, but do tune in anyway because um, I think it's it's just a little up in the air right now because I'm securing a guest or Lori's securing a guest. We'll figure it out. But anyway, we'll have a good show because we always try and have a good show. And then don't forget that Miss Medusa is coming up pretty soon here, just a couple of weeks, and we'll have the pre-link, the pre-pre-link, the pre-link, <sighs> the pre-launch. <laughs> Link, Jesus Christ, it is so good that we're almost done with this. <laughs> I clearly need a nap. It's going downhill. <sighs> it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So, okay. So, yes, Miss Medusa is coming up. We'll have a pre launch link for you soon. So, keep an eye on social media for that. And, uh, yeah, do we have anything else we want to recap? Go back to Chuck's book. Yes. Read it. Do the thing. Back Chuck's book. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see you next week. And don't forget to watch the rest of the Agents of Geekdom shows. Do that. Just, just, just follow the channels and you'll, you'll get notified for all of them. So do that. Cool shit to watch. Smash that week. like button! Or what is it? Smash that bell button? I don't... You know, the... Both. You watch the YouTube videos? Both. I, the, yeah, yeah the, the dorks on YouTube. We're, we are, we are the dorks on YouTube. And, dorks and here YouTube I am. Too. Yeah, we're the dorks on YouTube too. And here I just am... Fine. Nerds! 
calling people out for their shit only to realize, oh, that's my shit too. Crap. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I well, here's the thing. I'm okay with being called a dork. You're right. I'm okay with mm -hmm. it. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you, Chuck. And thank you, everybody you who watched. And, and come back and watch us next week. And in the meantime, you'll have lots of other Agents of Geekdom shows to keep your week uh, going. Some entertainment. So, And we'll see you uh, we'll next week. So, bye!